Auditing Standard SA 230 Part 2 Identification of Specific Items or Matters Tested In Auditing Standard 230, the auditor is required to record identifying characteristics of specific items or matters tested during audit procedures, such as dates and unique purchase order numbers. This documentation holds the engagement team accountable for their work and enables the investigation of exceptions or inconsistencies. The auditor must also document discussions of significant matters with management, those charged with governance, and others, including the nature of the significant matters discussed and when and with whom the discussions took place. Departure from a relevant requirement. If the auditor needs to depart from a relevant requirement in exceptional circumstances, they must document how the alternative audit procedures performed achieve the aim of the requirement and the reasons for the departure. In addition, the auditor must exercise professional skepticism throughout the audit and be alert to the possibility of fraud. The auditor is responsible for designing and implementing audit procedures that are responsive to the risks of material misstatement due to fraud, including obtaining an understanding of the entity's internal control relevant to the audit assessing the risk of material misstatement due to fraud, and responding to identified risks. Matters arising after the date of the auditor's report. The auditor must also communicate with management and those charged with governance about identified or suspected fraud, including the nature, timing, and extent of the communication. The auditor must document their findings and conclusions related to fraud, including the auditor's response to identified or suspected fraud. The implications for the audit opinion and the communication with management and those charged with governance. The extent of audit documentation may be less for a smaller entity than for a larger one, but the documentation must still be prepared in a way that can be understood by an experienced auditor, and may be subject to review by external parties for regulatory or other purposes. Overall, Audit Standard 230 emphasizes the importance of thorough documentation and communication in ensuring the integrity of the audit process and the accuracy of the financial statements. Thanks for watching.